if you're looking at multiples, that's a game that a lot of people are trying to figure out and play right now, too. Um, technology stocks have come under pressure, uh, especially because of this concern that the Fed's going to start raising rates pretty rapidly. Uh, Microsoft is one of your top 10 holdings. Will it still be one of your top uh, 10 holdings at the end yeah, of this year? I, I, I don't. Uh, we have a large team. We have a great growth team. They own uh, Microsoft. I own a little bit from historical levels because of, uh, you know, Bill Gates and the team and the cascade. What I like is the following, automobiles. We have to step up production. In 2022, we are gonna produce about 6 million more on a global basis, and sales are only up 4 million because we have to rebuild inventories. You only have a million cars at the dealer level. Normally, or this time of year, Becky, it's 3 million. So we have a long runway for cars. More importantly than that, the mix of cars is skewed to the higher dollar amount you got to bring cars back down to the affordability level. The forty-seven thousand dollar retail price of a new car, and it ain't giving you discounts. Uh, that has to change, and used car market has to change. You got to put more cars, more fleets. So, what companies do I like that cater to that OE market? They're large and small, and their cyclical background is going to be terrific. In addition to that, the truck Europe has got a problem, but the first half of 2023 it's going to be terrific. China the same way. And so what truck companies, all of a sudden, there are three truck companies that are public uh, that were not there at the beginning of 20, and that's Trayton, which is a spinoff from Volkswagen. The stock is 23 euros. You've got to buy that. Uh, Daimler-Benz uh, spun off the truck business. Daimler Truck, it's selling at 33 euros. I think you've got a pretty big increase in that. There's 280,000 Class A trucks produced. That's way below average, uh, and that will, I mean, uh, this year, and uh, that's still below average. So those are the things we like. Secondly, aerospace. If Jim Cramer and Jim is right about is uh, COVID uh, getting some uh, uh, less uh, a challenge, Boeing's 320, uh, 737 MAX, the um, Airbus uh, uh, NEO, the 320 NEO, those are going to rise in production at an accelerating rate. China may even give a green light for Boeing to start delivering their planes, which China could use in terms of intercountry uh, uh, Travel. Who are the vendors? Number one, Crane. Uh, that, not that number one, but I'm picking Crane. The stock is similar to CR, 58.7 million shares. They're going to earn uh, six and a quarter for the year that just ended. They're going to earn seven dollars. It would be higher if it wasn't for certain charge, uh, higher tax rate. They're going to be paying 21 versus 17. And then uh, eight dollars and fifty cents a year from now. That's the number that's going to unfold. The stock is going higher. Textron makes both commercial aviation. It sells Bell helicopters. It makes private uh, components. And I think uh, uh, Scott runs a great job there, uh, $225 million. Then there's a little tiny company in Connecticut called Command, K-A-M-A-N, with a new CEO. He's doing a much better job of allocating capital. That stock's 43, and I think you got a 50% in, two, uh, in a year and a half. 